So if people, if they haven't seen before or haven't heard before, these two Akitas are sisters. One, let me say Mila and what's the other one? Zoe. Zoe. So Zoe is, is she taller and thinner or? She's, she's yeah, she's stand, her vertical's a lot, maybe about an inch or so over Mila. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's definitely thinner than Mila also. And she's a lot more athletic. She's a jumper. Oh, wow. Yeah, she likes to jump over things. Oh, Zoe. Now Mila is like super, super nice, yeah. right? Now, how would you describe Zoe? Zoe's sweet. Uh, she's not. She likes to push her boundaries a little bit to see what she can get away with. But uh, with other dogs and people, she's very sweet. Will she come if you call her? Uh, Zoe. Zoe, come here, baby. And how old are they now? They're. They're still eight months, eight and a half months eight, right now. Okay. Yeah. So and and I I know that Mi, Mila is really nice with other dogs. Yeah. How is Zoe with other dogs? Zoe, she's she's nice with other dogs. She's not as social as Mila is. Okay. Uh, she doesn't get to the dog park as often, but she's still nice. She's still uh, yeah. They're they're both really sweet dogs. It's weird for Akitas, but. So she lives with a family member of yours? Yeah, she okay. lives with the mother-in-law. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they get they get to have play dates together. They play really rough with each other, but not really going at it right now. She's kind of exploring. So in your family got two of the siblings or did you guys get more? Uh, two of the siblings, this litter. Okay. And then a cousin has their older brother and their older sister. Okay. Yeah. Are they all in California? Yeah, they're all in California. Wow. They're, uh, Walnut, well, they're in well, Walnut. Oh, okay. And, uh, Mamba is the brother, and he's about 115 right now, they said. Oh. He stands about 5'2", vertical. He's a big dog. So do they all get to see each other on occasion? They haven't met their brother and sister yet. Okay. Yeah. Since they left. Since okay. they left, so... Uh, and then that was a litter before them, so I don't know. I'm sure they would know, right? Yeah, I think hey. so. They would definitely, I would think they would remember each other. Yeah, you would think. We come from the same parents. So, no, they haven't seen them yet. Um, okay. I'm kind of timid to take them around Mamba because he's, he's a big boy. Oh, I see. What's your dog's name again? Kogi. Kogi, I always forget it. And be, because you don't you don't show up all that often. <laughs> but Kogi, he's a Shiba Inu, right? Yes. How old is he? He's about he's five now actually. Five? How much does he weigh? 38. 38 pounds. Is he average size or large for a Shiba Inu? He's actually American size, so I think he's a lot larger. Okay. But he's more fluffy. I see. And his name is Kogi. What does that mean? It means meat in Korean. Meat in Korean. And who came up with the idea to name him Kogi? It, it's a, it was a joke. <laughs> it ended up sticking. It was a joke? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to explain the joke? Uh, no, because, you know, YouTube stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can explain it. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Who okay, but Kogi, okay. Perhaps the joke has something to do with it's a Korean name, right? Yes, it's a Korean name for meat. But okay. if you're Asian and you know about dogs in the Asian area. I think everybody knows. I think, <laughs> well, maybe not everybody knows, but there is such a thing called a Korean meat dog, right? Not really. Not that I'm, yeah, I'm there's aware this, of. There's such a thing as a Korean meat dog. I actually okay. met, I actually met a Korean meat dog here at the dog park before. Really? Yes, a dog. I, okay, I apologize to anyone who's listening, but yes, there is a such thing as a Korean meat dog. You can look it up on the internet, and basically these dogs are raised specifically for meat in Korea. Oh, I that's, didn't know. Yeah, that's a fact. I know in China they do. 
but yeah, I'm, I'm just saying the fact. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to uh, infuriate or or offend anyone. I should say by mentioning that, but it's just the fact. It's just different culture at that time because uh, in China there are places where it's very like poor, so they have to find different animals to eat and you know a lot of the stray dogs are over there too like right right so what most asian um people see is that the dog they think it's similar to lamb where it keeps you warm right. in the winter yeah because of the meat so right. right yeah yeah i'm not going to keep talking about the subject like i said i'm sorry if that offends uh anyone watching but it is a fact it actually happens you can look it up, uh, Google it. You can also find videos on YouTube about it. So yeah, it's just it's just something that they do over there. I'm I'm not defending it. I'm also not putting down a particular culture by mentioning that. <laughs> I don't think she knows she's a big dog. Yeah, I don't think she's so. She's unaware. Like, and Donna tells me all the time that, like, that's how she plays the way. If Lonnie is screaming, clearly she just, like, there you yeah. go. Leah plays like that all the time. Dang, but Leah, you're that nerd. Yeah. <laughs> No, drop it, no sticks. She almost fits in the hole. She's four months. She has all her shots. I think my German chef would eat that German chef. Where are you going? Yeah, no, my dog. Get her, Zoe.
Hey, leave it! So this pit bull apparently doesn't like dogs creeping up on it, so I'm gonna try to keep Bodhi away from that. Bodhi, hey! Yeah, I don't think that pit bull wants to play. Yep, definitely doesn't want to play. Oops, went off in my back. <laughs> oh gosh. Good thing it wasn't next to you, that would Yeah, hurt. you know what, I felt a little tingle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I had a, I had a act, when that, when that pit bull was acting like it didn't really like dogs sniffing up on it, I was going to reach for the stun gun just yeah. in case. And uh, I accidentally set it off a little bit in my bag and I got a little taste of it. Just a little taste of it. I'm trying to think of what it, it felt like, like a little, I don't know, like a, a little shock, like a vibration. That's yeah. what it felt like. But just a small taste. Wasn't unpleasant, but didn't feel good either. Yeah, so, so unfortunately, uh, that pit bull, which I've never seen before, it looks like the people have left. Maybe they changed their minds. Uh, it definitely didn't like the dogs coming up and sniffing it. It, uh, it, curled, it curled its lips a bit and growled and looked like it was about to snap, so. So I'm saying this not to be critical, but if you can see off there in the distance, the people who have the pit bull, they're walking the pit bull and they're letting the pit bull take the lead. So that dog is going to think that it's the leader of the pack and that's what can possibly lead to it trying to protect them and snapping at other dogs, snapping at other people. So yeah, I just want to point that out, not to be critical, just just to uh, inform of what, you know, dog language is. Almost time for you to go? No, not yet. Maybe another 30 minutes or so. Follow the leader. So speaking of leader, is one of them uh, like more dominant over the other? Zoe used to be, but now it seems like Mila has been that. But it's just different. When when we're at Zoe's house, it's Zoe. But when we're at our house, it's oh, Mila. Oh, okay. So it's their territory. Oh, I see. From what I gather. That's good. They, they both seem to respect each other's territory. Yeah. That's good. Which, yeah, which is really good. Because I heard with Akitas, especially female Akitas, they're very dominant of their territory and having sisters in the same house, raising them in the same house isn't a good idea. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Bodhi actually thinks he's going to get some chocolate covered gummy bears, but that is not going to happen. Yeah, we'll watch your puppy until somebody shows up with two hundred dollars and well, you know the rest. First off, I got Leah for two fifty. Lonnie was five hundred. Thanks so much. But Jeff is still making two hundred dollars. Okay, Lonnie. Bye, Lonnie. Did she just like bop you in the nose or what? She, she does this all the time. When she sees me grab my keys and she does Yeah. This. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be back. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, somebody's calling you? Oh, that's why you're leaving, huh? Yeah, because Ada, because Donna doesn't keep her dog on the Okay. Nice. No names, no names. Protect the innocent. No names, no names. 
<laughs> it's a beautiful Dover, man. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, just the camera. So Bodhi and this golden retriever named Jay are locked up over the stick, and they did that before in the past. <sighs> over a stick. Yeah, I'm not a fan of them being so close together face to face over a stick. Last time it ended well. But yeah, over a stick, really. Okay, looks like Bodhi won. At least it's a big stick, not some little twig. Bodhi, sit. Leave it. Sit. Okay, so we're going to draw this video to a close. I hope everyone enjoyed watching. If you can, please give the thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. Also, leave a comment or question below. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And I want to thank everyone who subscribed to Bodhi's World. And also, a very big thank you from Bodhi and myself to everyone who watches the ads. It helps support Bodhi. Bodhi, don't be rude. This way, Bodhi, now. Bodhi, come. Come on. Hey. Okay, sit. Sit. No. Sit. Okay, sorry. Bodhi didn't, Bodhi didn't mean to be rude back there. But like I said, thank you to everyone who watches the ads. It helps support Bodhi, and we appreciate it so much. So until next time, we will see everyone on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Take care.